Kung Hoon is a South Korean actor who's definitely caught K-drama fans' attention with his variety of roles. You might remember him from dramas like The Red Sleeve, Little Women, or A Time Called You. Having a youthful appearance that belies his actual age, he can convincingly portray a high school student, even though he is in his 30s. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Kung Hoon. He originally aspired to be a basketball player. Kung Hoon was born on May 23, 1991, in South Korea. Before deciding to act, his initial dream was to become a professional basketball player. He learned basketball until his first year in high school. Although he still likes everything related to basketball, he said he has no regrets about not being able to excel as a basketball player. One day, the thought occurred to me, I can't make a living from this. Then basketball became no longer fun. He spent three months alone, wondering if he could do anything else well. He then chose acting and has no regrets about quitting basketball. He started acting because he wanted to meet his favorite idol. To fulfill his dream as an actor, he earned his degree in theater and film at the University of Suwon. However, there is a story behind his decision to take the acting path. After he quit basketball, he was searching for a new dream. At the time, the girls' generation was all the rage. He revealed that it was his love of girls' generation, and Taeyeon specifically, that inspired him to become an actor. He told Radio Star, once I became a fan of girls' generation, I wondered, how might I be able to find a way to meet them? I wasn't good at singing or dancing, so I couldn't become a singer. But I thought maybe I could be an actor. And if I became an actor, wouldn't I be able to meet them? That's how I started acting. Kung Hoon went on to reveal that he had been such a huge fan of Taeyeon, he had even gone all the way to her hometown of Jeonju to visit the optical store run by her parents. I actually have good eyesight, but I pretended like I couldn't see well and had a pair of glasses made so I could talk to them. The radio star MCs asked if he had ever had the chance to meet Taeyeon, and when he said no, they excitedly suggested that he make a guest appearance on TVN's Amazing Saturday so he could meet her. His first role was in 2009, but he considered his debut in 2015. At the age of 18, Kung Hoon made his on-screen debut in a short film titled Gory in 2009. He took part in various short films and web series until he got his official K-drama debut by way of the mystery thriller Let Me Introduce Her. He then left a strong impression on the public through his role in The Red Sleeve. As much as audiences were irked by his character, they still couldn't help themselves from applauding his performance, so much so that he was given a Rising Star Award from the Brand Customer Loyalty Awards and a Best New Actor Award from the 2021 MBC Drama Awards. He shared with Allure Korea, I was lucky enough to take part in a short film, and I made my debut while winning an award for the project. But I consider myself to have debuted in 2015. Let's just say that I started suffering from that time. He was filming three dramas around the same time. In 2022, the actor had been filming Little Women and A Time Called You at the same time. Soon, he was filming another SBS drama The Secret Romantic Guesthouse as a lead role. He shared his honest feelings about his busy schedule by saying, I didn't know things would turn out like this. Since this is my first time filming several projects at the same time, I wonder, am I really having a hard time? I wonder if other actors feel the same. Even if I'm feeling a little tired and busy at the moment, I should be happy about it because I've had a really hard time waiting for the results of my auditions. I always say, acting is so much fun and I want to keep auditioning. Before, I never even had to be concerned about something like this. He deliberately didn't watch the original work when he was cast in A Time Called You. He played the role of Jong Ying Yu, who has secretly harbored one-sided feelings for his classmate in the Netflix drama A Time Called You. It is based on the hit Taiwanese drama Someday or One Day. Kung Hoon revealed that he deliberately didn't watch the original work when acting in the drama. The director told me not to watch the original. While acting, I was thinking that it is a completely different work. I think that if I had seen it, I might have imitated it without realizing it. He likes to spend time with his co-stars before filming starts. Kung Hoon broke the awkwardness with his drama co-stars by spending time with them. He tries to meet them often before filming. He said, personally, if I start filming without getting close to a certain degree, I feel as if the awkwardness shows on screen. That's why I tend to meet them before filming begins, to talk a lot and spend time together. He is capable of horseback riding. 
Kung Hoon learned horseback riding and swordsmanship for his role. Recalling the time when he first learned horseback riding, he told Arena Home Plus, the thing I was most scared of was falling from a horse. I stiffened because I thought it would hurt if I fell. Then, one time I actually fell from a horse, but it didn't hurt. My skills have improved significantly since then. If I hadn't fallen at that time, I would have continued to be scared. I guess people have to experience everything firsthand. His face tends to swell a lot when he takes a nap on set. During breaks in between filming, actors sometimes fall asleep on set without realizing that they are actually at their workplaces. However, Kung Hoon avoids it because his face tends to swell a lot when he takes a nap on set. So he tends to practice his lines while strolling around. He doesn't think friends to lovers storylines can occur in real life. The actor played Ha Jong Ho, the childhood confidant and eventual partner in Justice to Nam Ji Yong's character in the 2022 series Little Women. Friends to lovers is one of the cliches in romance dramas. When asked if this setup would work out in real life, Kung Hoon remarked, I personally think that is not possible. In fact, I've seen a lot of cases where couples date within the same group but break up. I don't have any experience myself, but from time to time, I do find it attractive when my close friend appears in a certain way. That is when I am at a crossroads of whether I want to shift toward love or just think to myself, nah, I was mistaken for a moment. I think Ha Jong Ho is right at that point. Unrequited love begins as you develop feelings of love for a friend. He has a strong desire to play a villain role. First and foremost for him when selecting acting projects are the projects that he enjoyed reading, and afterward, he looks at if the role he received is similar or different from the character he acted in the previous project. He slightly avoids the project if it is of the same grain, but he selects it if he thinks he can express it differently. When talking about what kind of character he would like to play, he told BNT in 2022, a villain. A really bad person. I want to play a villain for no reason. The scariest thing is when a good-looking person is scary. So, I think it would be good to take on that role for once.